Okay. When I, uh, th Cut. Okay. Here's a quick tip if you're using ZBrush for 3D printing. When I printed this model on my home 3D printer, I had a few holes in certain areas where the uh, interior of the hollowed out mesh was meeting or going very close to the exterior. So I went back onto ZBrush and I looked at the model trying to work out how I could find these uh, flaws before I hit print. And what I come up with was if you turn on polyframe and you zoom out to a point where the mesh is getting denser so here's pretty good this is too dense and that's definitely not dense enough so about, about here for this model uh, if I turn on double sided uh, you see where it changes that's where the interior, the inside mesh is sort of meeting the outside so if I just zoom in on the canvas a bit more uh, you'll see that here, here, here are some trouble spots the ears look like they're going to be trouble and the teeth definitely were trouble they didn't come out at all but it was a very small print so I didn't expect it to come out that well uh, but the main one I had a problem with was just here on the back of the neck so if you um put a um, key binding on the double sided button it makes it a lot easier to check this but I'll just turn it on and off and you can see yep the back here of the neck I had a ga uh, massive hole on the back there uh, there was also another hole uh, here yep on the back of the shoulder, shoulder blades um, yep back here on the ear just here on, on the, the tips I had some problems. Yeah, so now that I can sort of see where these problems are probably going to occur, uh, I can fix them quite easily by getting out my brush, whatever brush, clay tubes I'll use for now. Uh, make sure I turn on the uh, back face mask. Uh, if I fix up the canvas, zoom in a little bit. So if I remember there was a problem here at the back of the neck, if I turn on flip, with double sided turned off I can see yeah it's this this little guy here I'll turn off polyframe this bit here is too close if I rotate it around I can sort of get an impression of where it's too close and just just there so holding alt I'll push the interior in a little bit smooth it out uh, let me remember flip so I had a problem down here smooth out um, so it was here on the the back side of the ear and I'll probably do the same on the inside just make it a bit thicker alright let's see if that did anything uh, I'll turn on polyframe I'll zoom out till the mesh looks a bit denser Turn on double sided. Okay, so I did miss a spot on the back of the ear. Uh, zoom in. Okay, just just here. There. And if you see, I can just sort of brush with my back face brush. wherever I find a problem but now the uh, side of the neck is much better maybe a little bit of a problem, uh, flip turn off double sided uh, turn off polyframe and again just fix it up take my time check the model out until I'm happy with it yeah, that's what I found out. Um, I hope that helps someone else. I uh, wish I figured it out sooner. But hopefully the next time I print this little guy off, it'll uh, look a lot better. Okay. Good luck.